If I were to play a game of quiz with you and ask you a simple question, name me some of the best known motor cars. Chances are you will start with this one first. The Rolls Royce. Yes, these cars have been around for well over 100 years and they have been really something very special. Okay, but then what makes these cars so special? I'm at Goodwood, the home of Rolls Royce. This is where they make the cars and now I'm going to go inside the factory and take a look and see what really makes Rolls Royce so special and of course so very expensive. Lord March, who owns the forests of Goodwood and all the land alongside it, did three things for motoring which will surely entitle him to the title of Lord of Motoring. First, he created a motorsport circuit. Then he initiated the Goodwood Festival of Speed, a must-visit event for motorsports junkies come every June. And then came the best. He rented out a patch of the forested land to Rolls Royce to build their new factory in Goodwood, but with a rider. The forest and the environment had to be protected. And Rolls Royce did just that. They built a factory and in my many years of visiting motor car producing factories, I had never seen one which is more eco-friendly. Even the roof has enough vegetation to provide a nesting place for a large variety of birds and the artificial lakes provide enough food. And after the completion of the factory, Rolls Royce planted around 400,000 trees. The louvers along the building adjust automatically to allow just the right amount of light and ventilation. And once you step inside, you'll be surprised at the levels of hygiene. Even your outdoor shoes are discarded and what you get is rubber soled shoes to ensure that it doesn't generate any static electricity. And then a long sleeve top coat completes the factory dressing and ensures you don't scratch anything accidentally with your buttons or your wristwatch. This entire complex is spread over seven acres of land which by automotive standards is not big. But it's beautiful and easily the most scenic automotive production facility I have visited. This is from where the journey of a Rolls Royce motor car starts. The body shell or as in the case of the Phantom, the space frames arrive from far away Bavaria after travelling through entire Europe. And once they land up in Goodwood, they are put on the assembly line and the journey ahead starts, which is just as interesting. The Goodwood factory might be a small one, but it is sufficient to meet the demands of a super luxury brand like Rolls Royce with an annual capacity of 3600 units working double shifts and employing over 1000 people of different nationalities. There are two lines which are at work at the Goodwood factory, the one that makes the coast and the right and the one dedicated entirely to the Phantom. Once the body shell is loaded onto this line, it's time for the fitments to begin. And the most interesting part here is the engine and the transmission as what they call it in Rolls Royce parlance, the marriage of the two. Now the next stop is there. Most of the car assembly is done here, including the electrical fittings and the wiring system, the dashboard and even the mechanical component. As the line slowly crawls forward, it is time for the final act of adding on the engine. And the engine is not mounted on the monocoque alone. This is the place where the engine, the gearbox, the axle, as they say, is married together, then transferred to the assembly line where it's put together into the car. It's said that a Rolls Royce car might not proceed, but it never ever breaks down. And the reason for this is this. The V12 6.75 liter massive engine, which is almost handcrafted. And this is mated to a eight speed gearbox. This gearbox is controlled by the satellite, which knows exactly where you're driving and accordingly, it can upshift or downshift, making the drive really easy and convenient for you, as well as smooth. As the complete assembly of engine, transmission, axle is moved on to the assembly line for bolting onto the chassis, it is a rather unusual act, as most manufacturers tend to assemble the engine first, 
without the axles, etc. But then quality and precision is Rolls Royce's strength. Can I have this? The process of manufacturing here is so precise. What you see here is a regular torque wrench. But where it is different is very simple. This sends out a signal to the computer over there which tells you exactly the amount of torque used to tighten this bolt. And this is recorded to the computer. So you know if there's an error, you can double check. It's really highly automated and very, very precise in spite of the fact that there are people who are doing it manually. The exteriors of the Rolls Royce is quite majestic and really stands out. But in my opinion, it's the interiors which really make it apart. Unlike any other car you might have driven. Take a look at this. This is coming from the Angoran Rabbit. This is fur. It's beautiful. And this is what you can have for upholstery. If you don't like this, then take this one. The shark. This is the shark skin leather. If you don't like this one either, you have a choice of this. Yes. The alligator. Okay, you are a fussy guy, you don't like any of these, and I'll give you another choice. The ostrich, yes. This is the kind of customizing you can do with your Rolls Royce, and they call it the bespoke program. You can actually make the interiors the way you want it. Choose the material, choose the color, and choose the design as well. But now I'm going to take a look as to how all this leather is really processed before they are fitted onto the car. The beauty of a car like Rolls Royce is that it is not only precision crafted but each and every material is chosen extremely carefully. Take the case of this leather here. This leather is sourced from bulls which are bred at a higher altitude. The reason being there are no mosquitoes at higher altitude because mosquito bites tend to flaw the skin. After the skin is sourced, it is sent for extensive process of tanning to well-known companies who among others have Fendi as their clients. Then, when the leather arrives here, it's again checked for quality, stretched out, all the flaws are taken out, an extensive process using lasers and computers, and then only it's ready to be fitted on your seat. If you have by now managed to decide on the color and the quality of leather for your interiors, then it is time to move on to see how the fascia and the door trims are going to look like. There is one material which really gives any car a touch of class and elegance and that's the use of wood. Rolls Royce is no different. They in fact offer you 26 venues to choose from, ranging from maple wood, elm to walnut. This is what it looks like when it arrives in the factory, but the finished product is quite a big transformation. This is what it looks like. But before it transforms from this to this, there's a huge process which is obviously very qualitatively controlled and monitored. And the end result is the very best in the automotive industry. Now you might start to wonder why trees are being cut. Actually, Rolls Royce has a policy that they never go and destroy or cut a tree from a tropical rainforest. And for every one tree that they chop for this material, they plant five. So the environment is being taken care of. This is a long and a patient process, whereby the wood from the poplar tree is chiseled, cut and given shape before the chosen veneer is applied and treated and eventually polished to give the desired effect. It is the quality of the material and fastidious sourcing standards which actually give the Rolls Royce cars its finish and quality. All material is sourced globally, keeping in mind only one thing, quality. And consequently, the result is obvious, unmatched build quality. So yeah, here at Rolls Royce Bespoke, really we, we bring customers' dreams into reality. We create their perfect Rolls Royce. 
The customers come to us with uh, either an idea or a theme or some special features that they'd like on the car. Um, and then our bespoke designers work together with the customer um, to refine those ideas, do some sketches and some um, car visualizations um, until we're sure that we've properly understood what the customer wants and the customer's happy and then we start working on the features. So then it's over to our engineering team and our craftspeople here at Goodwood um, to, to create that car. Talk about the bespoke program of Rolls-Royce and we are forced to look at some of the modest demands made by its customers. Here is an example. This customer wanted 250,000 pounds of diamonds plastered on the car. And this is what the car looks like now. If you see a Rolls Royce, chances are you will instantly recognize it because of its unmistakable shape, but also because of another reason, the shine, the gloss of its paint job. Rolls Royce has invested a lot of money in developing a state-of-the-art paint shop, and what they offer you is completely baffling in terms of choice. There are 45,000 color shades that are available to you to choose from, starting right from the lipstick color to whatever your fancy desires. With all this customization and sourcing of different materials, it takes about two months to build a Phantom. Even the roof of the car, which is made to shine like the stars, is made after a difficult and tedious process involving extremely skilled workers who take about 12 hours for a single roof. But the result is astonishing. What's really a Rolls Royce without this beautiful lady here called the Spirit of Ecstasy? This is what gives the car its special identity and today it's my turn to fit this one onto this beautiful grill. She looks beautiful, doesn't she? Needless to say, every single car goes through a rigorous process of check for quality before a customer even gets to see it. After all, if you pay as much as you do for a Rolls Royce, then you deserve only the best. And the meticulous manufacturing process here ensures that this is exactly what you get. I had a delightful day here at Goodwood walking through the Rolls Royce factory and watching these beautiful cars being made. In fact, what I saw quite amazes me. The amount of care that goes into choosing the materials, the detailing, and the precision crafted engineering is what makes Rolls Royce what it is. Very special and of course, very expensive.